from the title of the video you already know what this video is about i'm happy to tell this story any day anywhere anytime because it's a reminder that god came through for me i'm just so happy to share this with everyone and yes and to encourage anyone out there waiting and hoping to hear something positive don't worry have your faith trust in god everything is going to turn out right so let's get right into this video. after i got my admission at gbs Malta, paid my fees got my visa support letter after the whole thing with the school the next thing is the visa application starting the visa application so the school has to reach out to cbu Malta, tell them about the students and then cbu Malta sends a an email to the students with um what's it called now um with a link to register and also a code like i got this email from cbu on the 14th of march 2023 um i wrote all the dates down on the book so i'll just be reading from there and i would like to tell us that this is actually a premium visa application because in nigeria there is no um embassy for more did it via the um, premium visa application everything is just done online i didn't have to go to any embassy there is no embassy for Malta in nigeria so yeah this is it so I got the, uh, the email on the 14th and on the 15th, I saw, I did the application, submitted everything. I was ready. I had my documents ready prior, so I was ready to just submit everything. I did my, I submitted everything. I was done with the application. Now the next thing after the application is the approval. So they need to go through your documents, everything you submitted. If they are okay with it, then they approve. If they are not, I guess if there's more document they need from you or if there's something else they want you to correct they will let you know so on the 16th of march i got the approval mail that my application has been approved i thank god for that you know i was happy i was just <laughs> the prayers i prayed during this period i'm just happy that god really really came true after the approval on the 16th the next thing is for the payment um, once you are approved, you have to pay for your visa application. So I did that. I, got, I did the payment on the same day. I also did the, I got the receipts. Yeah. So after you pay, of course, they will confirm your payment and give you. So them. now, after the payments, I didn't know if I'll be doing an interview or not because from the questions and research and everything that I was doing online, I got to find out that they do interview for some students and they don't do for some students i don't know what the criteria is to have an interview i really don't know because i still ask myself to today why do some people get an interview and others do not i really don't have an answer to that question but nevertheless as i was waiting to be reached out to for my interview or for my passport collection the passport collection um email came in first so on the 22nd of March, I got an email that my shipping label is ready and the, um, what is it called? The prepared package for me to send my passport is ready. So I have to send it and all. I was really happy for that. On the 23rd, which is the next, I just packaged the whole thing. Went to the courier office, did everything I had to do. And I sent the um, passport with my um I was asked to send my um, passport photograph, I think two of it. I shall put one extra in case. <laughs> I sent that with my um, application form. I was also asked to my application form. And of course, my passport, everything was there. I packaged, it. I packaged it well. Now, I'm going to be doing a video on how to package it well because I've seen some comments online that some, some people got their, their package was rejected because i don't know for one reason or the other if they find out that you're sending your passport i mean your international passport if they find out that you're, you're sending it via courier i don't know if it's allowed but if they find out you're sending it they would reject the package so i'm going to do a video on how to package your passport well so that it won't be rejected by the courier service i mean if you don't get your passport down to malta 
how then are you going to get your visa stamped in your passport so i'm going to do a video on how i did mine or tell us what i did in when i was packaging mine and i didn't have any issues of um, my package being rejected so i did that i packaged so i took a picture in case there are any stories here and there that come up later i have proof that this thing was sent so after i sent my package via the courier office i was just waiting <laughs> the waiting period there in this in this whole process it's not easy honestly it's not easy to just wait but i thank god for his grace he gave me the strength to wait and yes after sending it the next email i got and um, that was on the 14th of april so after sending on the 23rd of march the next email i got was on the 14th of april and before that of course i have a tracking number it took literally two weeks for my passport to get down to Malta, for my package to get down to Malta. So it's, if, I don't know why it had to take that long, but I was tracking it. The number of calls I had to make, <laughs> I called these people Taya. I mean, I had to call the courier um, office to ask them, because at some point I couldn't even see where the package was. I kept calling to ask where is, where is the package now? When is it getting to Malta? And all that it wasn't easy guys it wasn't easy so on the 14th of april i got the email for my appointment rather for my interview the interview was to be on the 21st first of april so i said i am um, reading researching ask um, researching for possible questions that could be asked on the interview day because this was my first time of anything about this i didn't know what questions i would be asked but lucky enough, I was able to gather some things online and I was prepared. Of course, I put everything in God's hands, prayed about it and assured myself that everything would go well. On the 21st came, the interview went really well and I'm happy I did those research because most of the things I researched about, you know, I was asked those questions. And don't worry, I'm going to do a video of the questions I was asked and for anyone out there that is preparing for an interview, I hope that video will be useful to you. And after the interview, I didn't hear anything again. I was just there, not knowing am I is my am I getting the visa or not? What next? You know, there was no I don't know how to put it. It is just tiring, waiting without knowing what to expect you know <laughs> it wasn't easy i wrote my school <laughs> i was like i wrote my school i disturbed them like anything have, can they is there any way they can you know um get information from identity motor to know if my visa has been approved or not my school kept assuring that i should not worry that everything will go well that once a decision is being made um, they will get back to me. So I just have to. Eight of May, I got the email that my um, label has been created for getting my passport back from Malta, and <laughs> I was so happy to see that email. I was like, so very soon I'll be getting my passport, and by God's grace, the visa back. <laughs> and it took two weeks, so it took two weeks for the passport to reach me in Nigeria. I don't know why it had to take that long, but it took two weeks. On the 22nd of May, I got my passport back and I was happy when I opened it. My visa was stamped. I just give all thanks to God because indeed God did it. He came through. All the waiting, all the praying, everything just came out fine. And I return all glory to Him. Tell me in the comment section, which stage are you in? Are you in the application stage? Or are you in the payment stage or are you in the interview stage? What stage of your process are you in? Tell me, let's discuss in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video to this point. Please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for other videos. I'm going to be doing another video on the questions I was asked during the interview. And I'll also do other videos. Please stay tuned. Have a wonderful day and stay blessed. Bye.